plus three at and what year was it? 2007? Okay. 2005. All right. Oh, okay. Let's start Somewhere. this. Let's start this over. <laughs> the three of us met in 2005 through mutual friends and bands and things like that, and we started playing together. I think at the end of that year, and uh, just over the years through different projects and bands and things like that. Uh, a friend of mine, Chris Anderson, who I did a lot with, was in a band with Keely. That's how I know her. That's really about it. There's nothing much interesting about it. It's, um, I think, to an outsider, there's a whole lot more going on than you would expect in a, a Midwestern city like Oklahoma City. And not only a lot going on, but a lot of good stuff going on. Quality. Um, I noticed when we are in other cities, it's more of a, there's more of a competitive feel, but it's, uh, I don't know, everyone seems to get along here. But I, I could be wrong. I just don't know those people. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like we get along with you. the people around here at least. Yeah. No, it's it's um. it's definitely good. And there's there's a lot of good things happening and going on. There have been for several years. Because whenever I'm writing, I never try to you know make it one thing. It's always just whatever happens is what is what we play. I don't know. I think it's it's uh, in a lot of ways our albums could end up sounding like a Ween album or something like that because they're completely you know one track will be on the opposite end of the spectrum of something else. But it fits together. Yeah, I think it, it all comes together at, in the end. Well, she came up to me 
He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't want to get embarrassed about the whole situation. Natalia was, was a nice lady that we met in San Francisco. And, uh, well, he did some favors. Just by saying that, though, it makes it sound like it wasn't a lady. And it was, okay, <laughs> because it is in San Francisco. It was, she was a nice lady, and she was from music, too. <laughs> she had all sorts of interesting things to say. <laughs> Three of us have been playing together for so long that we all like the same things, but for different reasons. And we're very picky, uh, you know, t uh, musical taste-wise. And it was strange to find like people who also had the same taste. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> you also learn over the years, like uh, how to play together. And yeah. I think that that uh, that may sound strange to someone who doesn't play music, but. You, you know how to read each other in a musical way, and you can know kind of exactly where we're going. Yeah, yeah, guess guess each other's next step. I think it has a lot to do with the people that we play with. Not only just us four, but like Taylor said, Chris Anderson. We started the band with him, and also Matt Lester, who has a lot to do with us. Um, they're all such talented people that I myself, I think, I'm better playing with them. I think in the last, since we've started this band in the last four years, I think I myself have grown a lot. I've gotten much better since I've been playing with this guy, so I'm glad. Taylor has taught me a lot, so, and I'm usually really, I have a stage fright, so I get really nervous playing with people, and I can play with them, so that's pretty good. They keep me calm, even though, even though sometimes they're, you know, asses. <laughs> <laughs> Well, something it struck me as if from above. I've been away so long, I feel I'm in love. Well, I'll try, Lord, I'll try to get by. But don't be in my way. She's the female. <laughs> She's the attractive one. I'm the really funny but smart one. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, do you mean as far as just stuff like that? Or? He's the goofball. I find like he's like the clown of the band. But usually drummers are. I don't know why all the drummers are just the funny ones and the dirty ones. Dirty. <laughs> I don't know. Taylor's the ringleader. I shower. <laughs> yeah, man. All, all their times are dirty. <laughs> Taylor's <laughs> definitely the ringleader. Yeah, I'm the one that's cracking the whip. That's all I do. Yeah, he's daddy. <laughs> well, I'm mama whenever I was wearing tour. I'm the one that tries to make them not fall off yeah, lips and weird. stuff like that. Oh yeah, she was freaking out at the Grand Canyon. Yeah, because you guys were really close. We were, throw, were, really we were throwing close. rocks off the Grand Canyon. If you've never thrown rocks off the Grand Canyon, you haven't lived yeah, because that is so the coolest thing. But they were right on the edge, and they, they were yeah. running yeah. towards the edge, and I'm like, you're going to fall. Oh, it takes like mad. 30 seconds before it hits the <laughs> ground. It's awesome. Well, haven't I showed you enough of my love?
Thank you.